Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about compound microscope. The contents of discussion are the diagram, different parts, then pathway of light, etc. Here you can see different parts of a compound microscope starting from the eye piece up to the base. So now you can see that this is a compound microscope. So the compound microscope we have got is uh, this is called eye piece. The eye piece is tens. Okay. This one is draw tube. This one called body tube, and this one called nose piece. So uh, the nose piece will also attach with the objective. This is called objective. The uh, both three are objective. The one is ten uh, x c. Uh, this is ten x, and this one is forty x, and also right here forty x. This one called hundred x, but uh, when I say this one is oil immersion lens. Now see also hundred x. So both are the objective. This one is low power. This one is high power, and this one called oil immersion lens. Don't mix with forty uh, x and hundred x. The high power. Which one is high power? I also uh, so I uh, clarify that uh, this is ten uh, x. The low power and the 40x is high power. Then 100x is about called uh, oil immersion lens. Okay. Now see uh, this one called a pores adjustment screw. Uh, pores adjustment screw and uh, this one called a uh, fine adjustment screw. So what is the work? Uh, you can uh, up and down the body tube by what is the uh, adjustment? What is the uh, see? Uh, this one called uh, stage so the stage is also attached with the uh, scale the which one called uh, the vernier scale so uh, you can see this is a uh, vernier scale also uh, marked uh, so uh, you uh, also you say uh, white is called scale because uh, the also right here 0 10 20 so uh, this is uh, now so called this is vernier scale so uh, what is the one uh, you can attach, attach a slide here okay this one called clip you can attach the slide here and you can use this screw uh, for the slide movement up and down and this one, this screw will help you the right and left ok so then see uh, this is a mirror ok this is a mirror uh, and this is called the plano concave mirror why because uh, the mirror is set up with a two mirror one is plane and one is concave what is the word uh, the plane mirror is what form when the light shoot is available in new lamp like uh, see uh, the um, tube light on the light source whatever uh, this is uh, the plane mirror so this is for use and the concave mirror uh, like uh, the when light source is not available like you see uh, there is no uh, light here when the low shading is also available so then you can use for outsource light like uh, sunlight and the whatever so then you can see the concave mirror because the concave mirror gathered the light in a single focus and then spread uh, like uh, this uh, uh, this way so now you can see this is called diaphragm okay this is diaphragm see this is diaphragm and diaphragm also have a aperture okay now see this is aperture so why it is uh, what is the word the aperture is work from the light source uh, you, if you see the uh, uh, gather the light and the, if you see the light source is uh, too much you can use for the light dim the light control also control the light okay and then go this is the inclination screw or inclination screw okay 
and the this is the last word this is called food or base okay you can see that uh, what are the different parts of a compound microscope and how different parts can be uh, assembled to form a, a compound a whole compound microscope so thank you mr dhananjoy chakraborty for your uh, beautiful demonstration now you will see that uh, what is the pathway of light through the compound microscope so first of all light falls in the mirror so this is the mirror from here the light goes to the diaphragm so here the diaphragm attached just, uh, just you have saw the demonstration and from there the light passes through the slide that is the slide with the specimen that is kept on the uh, stage from there it enters into the objective lens maybe higher or lower whatever required to see the specimen properly uh, from there it enters into the body tube, from there to the draw tube, then crossing the eye piece to our eye. So this is the pathway from the mirror, then uh, stage, uh, sorry diaphragm, then stage, then objective, then body tube, then draw tube, eye piece and our eye. So this is the pathway of light by which we can see a specimen which is kept on the stage of a compound microscope. So these are the different parts of the compound microscope. We can see that eyepiece, which is the optical part, then tube, it's also optical part, resolving nose piece, objective lenses, another optical part, then diaphragm, coarse adjustment screw. Then few other parts like fine adjustment knob, then arm, then stage, stage clip, condenser, very important. Uh, that focuses the light, then mirror which reflects the light, then base and the power switch. So thank you very much for your attention. Keep in touch. So long. Bye-bye.